Okay. <laughs> uh. All right, and welcome everybody to Encore number 129. We are kicking wow. things up. I, there's so much to talk about, about everyone that's here in attendance tonight, but okay. we, we can't dwell on that right now because we're already in the thick of this game right here. It's actually Stir the Kid versus PC Ninja. Now, this matchup is, I think it's actually a really fun one, uh, mainly because both characters kind of do what they want to do. And the, they don't shut down each other's game plans. They don't. You know, it's not like Ness fighting against you know a character with a big sword or something no, like that. No, not at all. It's a, it's a match that's between you have a Ness and you have a Yoshi. It's kind of just like they're at their own freedom to do what they please. They really don't have much to worry about in this match. But let's see how it's playing out so far between PC Ninja and Stir the Kid. So far, as you can see, Stir the Kid has somewhat of an advantage, but PC Ninja is still fighting back strong. Yeah, I would actually say one thing about this matchup is that he's had a quite a big advantage because Ness's kill power is so Ooh. much more. I was I'll take the so first off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's so much more consistent than Yoshi's, but Yoshi up smash. I mean, oh yes, by far. It's just such a, so good at catching landings, and right there, that's exactly what happened. Sir the Kid, now he's the one who needs to find this kill somehow. PC Ninja aware of that, putting out all these hitboxes, just not letting him get in for even a second. That's the plan right now, as you can see. Look at the neutral. Look what's going on currently. PC doing doing everything he can to get in, but at a safe and sound way. But Sir the Kid ain't gonna let that happen, because he's like, hey, look at your percentage. You had 167. You should be gone by now. <laughs> You should off yourself now. <laughs> Look how it's going on. 182. This is Ness this is insane. Of, how is he not dead? What moves does Ness hit with that he don't kill at this point? Forward is like okay. the only one, and that's the one that he's landing. Watch this, right? Jump. That's all it took. <laughs> now oh he's in uh, it. Mean, Look at this. Oh boy. This is this is right now. Start the kids at as much death oh percent God. as PC Ninja is. That'll do it! Finally. That'll do it. The dash attack finally coming out right there. I do like the fact that Stir had not shown that dash attack, you know? He, he wasn't spamming the dash attack or anything like that. He wanted to make PC Ninja forget that that was an option. Make him because think about it's it. such a fantastic Like, what hasn't he works. done yet? And then he got his answer. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Stir the Kid kind of playing scared right now. He was holding that shield, and Yoshi has a really good way to answer somebody who's holding the shield in front of their face with that egg leg. So as things stand right now, 137%, he's the one who needs to play super duper safe, trying to throw out hitboxes that won't of his do own, it though. but oh. PC Ninja is not getting hit by any of them. Oh. Follows up on the forward air. Little PK Thunder just for a little oh, bit of no. taste. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm seeing all these PK Thunders, and I just I know he's like, you know, if I do PK PK Rocket into him, that does even up the stock count. Oh, yes, by far. Huh? Yeah, with that dash attack. Yeah, and the up air will do it. Finally finding it. Yeah, that's one of the things about this matchup is that Ness a lot of the time has to play really aerial, and Yoshi can kill opponents in the air. Sometimes he can struggle to finish people off when they're on the ground, but if they're jumping in the air, who oh boy, do those like the up airs, the up smashes. Plenty of ways Playing to Playing it safe with that PK Thunder, I see. And I love it. Oh. oh, PC Ninja's looking real good. Wow, that, that, that up air was safe on parry. Oh, yeah. Just, just the kid not actually able to punish. And right now, okay, he's with the parry. Yeah, he's getting a lot of yeah, parries. I think sure. that's the sort oh. of thing where we could be that he's maybe a little bit too predictable with his timing right now. Granted, PC Ninja has a lot of room for error at this point. He's at 149, but he's an entire another stock to fall back on. And Ooh. wow. Well, I can tell you, I did not see that coming. I know, getting the actual, the reverse hit of that neutral air to close out the stock. Now we actually have, you know, one stock apiece, but one of those stocks is looking a might healthier than the other. Yes. Ooh, trying to go for that up there again, we see from PC Ninja. Yeah, just barely out of range of it. Let's see if yeah, that's barely the, out there. This is one of the things about the matchup. Also, Yoshi's double jump bomber is so good against Ness because so much of Ness's moves. Oh, that was crazy! That was oh, yeah, that'll do it. Crazy. Yep, going way deep there, and I think that was the appropriate time to go deep. That wasn't like My the part. I you're off stage and I'm just gonna jump after you and hope it works out type of. Thing. That was, you went low, you are at this very specific height where your options are so limited right now that will place neutral there, just close things out. PC Ninja takes game take that one. first game. 
What a performance by both of them, I will have to say. Yeah, I do love the performance. Also, at the same time, remember how that game started? It felt like Stir was just in such control. And then it came time to finish off the stocks. And just, it wasn't there for Stir. It just wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't yeah. noticed. All right. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah. what do you want to see from this game, too? Uh, I Do you think a stage counterpick might be in order? Hmm. Well, let's see. I feel like when it comes to stage counterpicking, PC Ninja might have a bit of an advantage in that. Well, Just I do think bit. that, like, for instance, Stir the Kid, he was using the platforms really well. You saw him getting these parries on the platforms, mm -hmm. lots of ways to help him, you know, get back down to the ground. I feel like he was struggling with that more than PC Ninja was. So I think that, I do think we're actually going back to Pokemon Stadium too. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't think that the stage was really what the error was. I think the big thing is he needs to, you know, right immediately the game starts. Oh, yeah. Another one of those parries <laughs> on the platforms. Oh, but, like, he needs to figure out ways to actually close out stocks. This is similar to what we saw. Huge percentage lead for Stir the Kid. The question is whether that can end up turning into an actual lead. Hmm. We'll have to agree with you on that one. So we can see Stir the Kid letting up the attack on PC Ninja. I will also say, there are some... One of the things about Yoshi is that he... He, he has this point where that was a great uh, wave bounce. Mm. But um, he has this point where like the damage percents really matter for him because it determines whether or not he can armor through certain moves. Huh. Uh, right now, as you saw just a moment ago, he can no longer armor through the upbeat yes. that Ness has, which is going to be very effective for edge guarding. Right now, though, both of them Big deep in the red. Oh! oh wow! I have never seen that happen before. <laughs> I was not expecting that tell me from fucking PC Ninja. Okay. That, that was great. Yeah, it was great from PC Ninja. I 100% don't think PC Ninja was like, he is about to up smash. And the counter to this up smash is for me to down me. I think he was more expecting for a jump or something like that. But listen, you take Ooh, it when they come. Take with that back here. Yeah. Ow. I like that too. PC Ninja in between talks, really taking his time. He does. He doesn't. He doesn't rush, rush into yeah. it. No. no. I, I really like that. I think that's an important thing to do. Because uh, yeah, these are two very evenly matched players. You can see the percents are just tied neck and neck right wow. now. I, I also, I, if you notice, it feels like Stir the Kid right now is trying to abuse his good. Ooh. Oh my god, speaking of abuse! Oh. Now that right there is what I like to call textbook. Because god uh. damn, he really did read that. Oh my god. He's I just keeping his distance. These are like those textbooks from like the 18th century <laughs> where they just show depicted murder. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have school boards that would uh, complain about oh, things. Oh no, they didn't. Then. And the teaching curriculum back then had to be very different than what we have nowadays. Yeah. Kids these days don't have murderous <laughs> sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gonna be taking that next stock. Stir the kid. Managing to actually even things up to a certain degree, but when you look at the, the, the tempo, it's always PC Ninja taking the stock first. And right now, Stir the Kid needs to oh. reverse that. Oh, that is not oh, that's how scary. You that's it. scary. That's scary. Whoa. <laughs> PC Ninja, did he get. That was I one hell of an exchange. That. What and a he'll lead. do it with the forward oh, smash of everything. That was a great read. I love that because you notice it wasn't just the raw forward smash. He threw out the egg. And I guarantee you that PC Ninja had been looking and studying those ledge habits from Stir the Kid. He knows that if he throws up that uh, that egg, he would be doing it.